Hey everybody, Dr. A here, and in this video we are going to be exploring an example on um, reducing a live load. So let's go ahead and get started. In the given information, we are told the following. We have for an interior column in the lobby of an office building supporting one floor with a tributary area of 400 square feet, what is the minimum unreduced live load according to ASC 716? Followed by, is a live load reduction permitted? If so, compute the reduced live load, okay? So maybe take a second, pause the video, write this down, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. So um, the first thing that I think is a good idea for us to do under solution is to draw out a sketch of what this uh, interior column in the lobby of an office building may look like, okay? Um, whenever you're not given a figure and you're given information under your solution, draw out something to help you visualize what we're looking at. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a 2D view and a 3D view of what I think this would look like. So a 2D view may look something like this. We have some kind of column here and may, you know, maybe it's fixed at the ground and it's supporting one floor of an office building. And we don't notice, we don't really know anything about uh, what the floor of the office building is gonna look like. So I'm just gonna put some cut sections here and uh, you know, that shows that the, the floor can keep going in both directions, okay? So very simple view here, okay? We don't know much, all right? Now, um, where can we see this 400 square feet? So this would be an example of like a two-dimensional side view, okay? Now, let's go ahead and draw maybe a three-dimensional view of what this could look like. So let's say that uh, our column here in three dimensions may look something like this. And, you know, it's kind of fixed at the ground here. And it's supporting a segment of uh, a, a, an office building floor, okay? So let's say that it's supporting some kind of segment. Like this. Like that, okay? So not my best artwork, but something like that. So this 400 square feet represents the area that I'm shading here in red. This is the area, A sub T, tributary area, 400 square feet that this column is supporting. So, you know, it's an office building, of course, and the office building has um, several columns and would have uh, a larger surface area that each column is supporting than this, most likely. But in terms of what we're given here, all we know is some basic information about one particular column supporting uh, 400 square feet, okay? Um, supporting 400 square feet of, of some kind of area. We don't know any s specific dimensions, for example. Um, we don't know like what this dimension line is here. Or, or any other dimension lines. We just know that that one column is supporting 400 square feet of, of area. That's it, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna refer to ASC 716 because that's what the um, problem told us to do. And we're going to refer to table 4.3-1. So open up ASC 716 if you have it. So I'm gonna say ASCE 716 table table 4.3-1, okay? Now, um, in my copy of it, it's page 14. So near the bottom of page 14, um, under the column occupancy or use, it says office buildings, and it's got a few little um, items under the office buildings near the bottom of that table. And um, it says, uh, you know, lobbies and first floor corridors, offices, so on and so forth. Well, um, all it says in our given problem statement is in the lobby of an office building, okay? So that would, uh, to me, that tells me we need to be looking at lobbies and first floor corridors. Now, if we look at that second column in ASC 716, um, it says uniform L naught in PSF, okay? And then in parentheses, it's got the metric equivalent. So for us, L naught would be what? Well, according to that table, that's 100 
PSF, pounds per square foot. So really what we're looking at here is on this area here, oops, it means to erase that, on this area here that I shaded in red, that area would be supporting 100 pounds per square foot of loading over that area. 100 PSF of loading spread out over that, that red shaded area that I just drew here. So that is L naught equals 100 PSF. Again, PSF, pounds per square foot. So we're spreading out a force over that area of 400 square feet, okay? Now, if you look at the third column in, in that table, 4.3-1, it says live load reduction permitted question mark. Now for us, it says yes, okay? So according to this table, live load is permitted <coughs> to be reduced, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to section 4.7.2. So we're gonna say C section 4.7.2 of ASC 716. And when we go there, we see our, um, our handy equation uh, for our re reducing a live load. Now, the first thing we need to check is we need to check KLL times AT, and we need to see if it is, uh, uh, according to ASC um, 716, is it, greater than or equal to, or sorry, less than or equal to, or greater than, I'm sorry, let me get these inequalities right. Is it less than or greater than or equal to 400 square feet? Now, don't, uh, don't get excited yet. This 400 square feet that section 4.7.2 is referring to is not quite the same as the 400 square feet that's given to us in the problem statement, okay? So what we need is KLL. So if we look at table uh, 4.7-1 in ASCE 716, we can see that the KLL, the live load elemental factor, live load element factor, for interior columns is four, okay? So take a look at that table and find what category you, you fall into. We see interior columns is four, okay? Um, so uh, what we can do now is compute KLL times A sub T. Of course, that's four times 400 square feet. And so what is that gonna give us? That's gonna give us 1,600 square feet and since this is bigger than 400 square feet we can reduce the 100 psf live load okay so again we got to always check that klat is 400 square feet or more um, in order to uh to reduce this live load, okay? So now we can use our uh, reduction equation, L equals L naught, open parentheses, 0.25 plus 15 divided by square root KLLAT, close parentheses, okay? And um, again, we need to compare that to a uh, uh, lower limit um, according to 4.7.2. So if you uh, refer to ASC 716, it says L shall not be less than 0.5 L naught for members supporting one floor. Okay, so it says our column is supporting one floor. So this must be um, bigger than or equal to um, 0.5 L naught. Okay, so again, this is given um, on, on uh, the left column of page 17 in ASC 716, and we're in the provisions of ASC 716, the provisions document, okay? So um, let's go ahead and calculate this. We're gonna say L, not, uh, sorry, L is equal to 100 PSF, open parentheses, 0.25 plus 15, all divided by square root of 1600 square feet and we will punch this in our calculators 
and I'm using my TI 36X Pro calculator. And so I get, um, of course, 100 PSF times this whole uh, parenthetical expression is 0.625. And so, um, of course, this is bigger than 0.5 L naught. And so L comes out to be 62.5 PSF. And this is our reduced live load okay so uh, that pretty much concludes this example make sure you follow along with all of these nuances Pay, pause the video go back rewind rewatch parts of it and make sure you know where and why we are computing what we're computing and where we're obtaining some of these values from asc 716 and as i mentioned in one of my other videos you can follow um, almost the same types of uh, procedures and process in IBC 2018 as well. Thanks for watching.